So iOS is out and it's a little glitchy. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the troubleshooting steps you can take to make the experience a little less problematic and fix some of the biggest issues that you're having with the upgrade to iOS 13. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So iOS 13 is out. It's a little buggy. We actually did a complete video about how buggy it is. Listing some of the issues that users are having. I'll go ahead and link that in the description of this video and in a card up above. But this video is about troubleshooting some of the biggest issues you guys are having with iOS 13. And I guess we'll start right off the bat with one of the biggest issues users may be experiencing, and that's when you upgrade, you're losing data that you had stored in your iCloud. That information is no longer available, it's missing somehow, and it looks like it's just been deleted. But don't worry, you can actually recover that information because nothing is really completely deleted from iCloud, at least not immediately. So there's actually two options you can take to restore from your iCloud account, and that's if you're restoring from a recent backup. If you backed up your information before updating to iOS 13, you can always restore from that information as long as you have a backup that's reliable that you can go back to. If you don't have a backup that's reliable that you can go back to, you can always log into the iCloud website. In that iCloud website, you have your trash bin basically, and anything that's deleted from your iCloud account goes into that trash bin, at least for about 30 days unless you purge that information yourself. So if you're missing anything from your iCloud backups, check that trash bin. It's usually going to be there because it's most recently deleted, especially if it was deleted during the update. And then you can begin to restore that information from that location. The caveat to that is everything is kind of bundled into one. So you're going to have to sift through that information. If there's a lot of things there that have been deleted, you're going to have to kind of go through it one by one and restore the things that you want to restore. But at least you're not losing your information, your projects, or your photos. Another issue that users have been having is the inability to open applications. Some apps seem to be crashing after the update. They're not functioning the way that they're supposed to. And this can just be because of the update itself, incompatibility with the application, or just a problem communicating between the app and the operating system. So one of the things you can do to try to fix this is first, just try restarting your phone. It actually sounds silly, but sometimes a restart of the phone can help fix a lot of problems that you're having. After the restart, try to reopen the application, see if that works. If that doesn't work, then go into the app store and see if there's an update available for that app. You just locate the app in the app store, look at the button that's located below the app, see if there's an update option there. If there's no update option, then try uninstalling the application and reinstalling it with your iOS 13 running on your system. Hopefully it'll reinstall all the components it needs to be compatible with this particular version of iOS. Another one of the issues is laggy or slow internet connection or just slow lagginess on the phone in general after you upgrade it. This can be a lot of different things. If there was no lag before the update, you can try resetting the settings settings on your phone, you can reset the network settings or you can reset all your settings on the phone itself. That can help with a lot of the network issues you're having if you're having trouble connecting to a Wi-Fi. Try disconnecting from that particular Wi-Fi and then signing back in fresh having the phone completely forget that connection and then re-establishing that connection that can help. And also again, just try restarting the phone after you've made any substantial changes. This can go a long way in helping you make sure you're able to establish a proper connection with your Wi-Fi. Now bear in mind that Apple is aware of the issues that users are having with iOS 13 and they're releasing the update iOS 13.1 fairly shortly. So keep an eye out for that and update to that one as soon as possible. It's gonna help to fix a lot of the bugs and issues you guys are experiencing with this particular update. If you have any questions or problems that we didn't address in this video with iOS 13, go ahead and share those in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any fixes that you've put in place that are helping you, go ahead and share those in the comments as well. It may help somebody out that's having a problem. This video is all about the issues that iOS 13 is currently having and this video is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool helpful content and until next time guys. Peace.